The stringizing operator is a preprocessor operator, and all it does is convert an expression to a string. So let me show you here. We have this print A, and the preprocessor, when it sees that, it simply replaces it with C out A end line. So let's let's uh, int var gets five, and then let's print var, build it, run it. We see that we get five because that's what the macro, the function like macro, because these are function like, the function like macro does. So uh, the stringizing operator is simply a pound sign. And when you put the pound sign in here, you're basically telling the preprocessor to take whatever A is and put quotes around it, kind of like I did there, but that's not legal syntax. So let's go down here and, well, first of all, let's just print var. I'll run it. And instead of getting 5, like we did the last time I ran it, I get var, V-A-R, because A here becomes var, V-A-R. In fact, just to show you how that works, let me expand the macro out. I will keep the original version of print right here just so you can reference it. But literally, the preprocessor comes in here and says, okay, copy this, paste it right here, paste it over print var, so paste, and then A, remember A here is V-A-R, literally V-A-R. So, so um, it's going to replace A with V-A-R, and then, oh, we got the pound sign here which says, hey, stringize it. It's called the stringizing operator, which basically means wrap it in double quotes. So that's that's all that's going on there. Um, why is this useful? Well, we can, especially in debugging, we can uh, we can use this trick to make debugging easier. One thing that's very common is to say C out uh, A, and then here I'll I'll say let's let's insert a space and a colon, and then do A. So C out pound A, uh, this little delimiter here, and then A. So int var, let's do int bar gets ten. And so when I print var and then I print bar, build it, run it, we'll see that the debugging information in the console is uh, much more clear because I can see that, oh, var's value is 5 and bar's value is 10. In fact, I should have put the colon over here in the space there just to make it a little more more readable, so to say. So, so that's why that's useful. Pound A gave us the var and the bar, and the A said, well, just... Uh, put their value right there. So so that's that's stringizing in a nutshell. A little trick I want to show you. Uh, we're actually not required to put this uh, insertion operator right here. I can actually delete it and build and run it again and uh, the output is identical. But it's the compiler that actually does the fix up there, not the preprocessor in that case. What do I mean by that? Uh, let me show you. Uh, again I'll just let me take one of these and expand it out. So I'll expand out the print bar here. So we're playing preprocessor again. I'm going to highlight this, copy it, paste it right here. Now remember, our A was bar, so I'm going to put B A R, and then the pound sign says, well, put the double quotes around it, stringize it. And then um, A again, A was bar, so I'm going to put B A R there. So now, you, now this this may look a little weird, but I have basically two string literals next to each other. And the compiler, the compiler, not the preprocessor, the compiler at this point uh, does a little fix up and say, well, I can just, that's the same as that. So, so good, run it. Uh, hopefully the output didn't change. Very good, bar, good. So that's the stringizing operator. Again, a preprocessor operator, not a compiler operator.